It's The Refined Reseller. Thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel. eBay has made a change to its feedback system that will affect both buyers and sellers. In this video, I tell you all about it, so check it out. eBay is increasing the number of characters available when leaving feedback. It will affect both buyers and sellers, and I think it's a good thing. In this video, I'm going to tell you why I think so, but first, please take the time to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I make a new video. eBay is increasing the number of characters in feedback from 80 to 500, so buyers and sellers will have more space to express their satisfaction or dissatisfaction with an item. Here's what eBay has to say about it. Feedback between sellers and buyers is a crucial part of keeping eBay a trusted marketplace. Starting next week, as part of our continuing journey to improve the eBay experience, we're increasing the character limit for feedback. Previously, sellers and buyers could only leave feedback of up to 80 characters. We realize that's often not enough space to include important details, so we're increasing our feedback fields to allow a maximum of 500 characters. This will apply when you leave feedback for buyers, receive feedback from buyers, and reply to buyer feedback. You'll see this increased limit whether you leave feedback on desktop, mobile web, or the eBay app. Make sure you have the most recent version of the app to see the increased character limits. Now, as I mentioned, I think it's a good thing because I think 80 characters was just not enough. Some people need to explain things and 500 characters is going to make it much easier to do so. So I'm going to show you some examples of my feedback, some feedback I got that is limited and a feedback that I got that of course is more than 80 characters. So let's check it out. Here are six examples of feedback limited to 80 characters. Product as described and arrived as scheduled. Fast delivery. Excellent. Thank you. Roar man. Roared this one in on time. Well packaged and in great shape. All right. That guy was obviously happy. A plus 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 seller and very nice. So those six examples are probably very similar to the type of feedback you have been getting. I got a feedback today that was more than 80 characters, and I'm glad I got it. Um, it's something that happened. It's a mistake that I made as a seller. I made it maybe two or three times over my selling career, and it's something that you don't want to do. Don't make this mistake. Here's what happened. I sold two record albums by the same artist, and I sent the wrong album to two different people. The person that was supposed to get this album got this one, and the person that was supposed to get this album got this one. Of course, they both let me know about it. Fortunately for me, they were very, very understanding. I simply sent them money to buy labels. They uh, went to the post office, bought the label, put it on the uh, album packaging, and they switched albums, and everything worked out fine. Well, one of the guys sent me feedback, and I'd like to read to you what he wrote to me, and he would not have been able to do this if he would have been li uh, limited to 80 characters, so check it out. Despite shipping rerouting, it's life, things happen out of our control. Seller accurately listed and described item, awesome communication and customer service, overcoming mix-up, and a pleasure to work with. I really appreciated the frequent updates, willingness, and extra mile to please. I will definitely be watching this seller's other listings, recommended seller A+. So that was really nice of that buyer to take the time to write that note in the feedback area. I really do appreciate him doing that. Now, of course, there are eBay sellers out there that may not be happy. You know, they're, they're convinced that everything that eBay does is in favor of the buyer and is against the seller. I really don't think it's true in this case. I think if a buyer leaves neutral or negative feedback, you as a seller will be able to tell your side of the story to counteract that neutral or negative feedback. And I think 500 characters is enough to do that, where I think that 80 characters was not. So that's all I have for you today. I really do hope you learned something from watching this video. If you did, please take the time to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. This is The Refined Reseller saying, as always, do like me, buy low, sell high, good sourcing, good selling, and I'll see you next time.